Hello everybody. In today's video, we are going to look at how we can create our simple website using Google Sites. So let's head over to Google Sites. So it's going to ask you to log in and I'm using my personal account. You can use any account that you got but you have the option to use classic one but we're not going to use the classic one but you can just type sites.google.com or just when you see this you can just click this link and click got it now as you can see there are some options here at the top and we can choose a blank portfolio event help center project team or let's click this template gallery and we can see a couple more right there and you can choose to go with the project or team or anything that portfolio or anything that you think it's gonna be looking good for your case so on this one let's start a blank one and you can choose any of them but i'm just gonna start with a blank one so you know and it says to add content choose layouts so I'm just going to skip this door and here this is the page title and let's just say my project and this is whatever your project is and here it shows header type so if I click this it shows cover it's way big large banner banner and title only and i'm just going to go with title only and it shows untitled site so i'm just going to say my site and then dash my project then again you have to write specifics here, whatever your project is about, whatever words you want to use. All right. And optionally, you can add a logo or change this name that appears here. For example, let's just say environment, environmental solution, something. And this is the header type we talked about. And we can start adding on the right hand side, you can see a text box and images, get something from Drive or embed something. And let's just add a text box. First, let's greet everybody. Welcome to Welcome to environmental solutions page. Hope you find what you are looking for. And this is going to be something related to your project. And there is a option here, section background. And let's do emphasis two. And then let's make this one a little bit of a size of a heading. Or let's see. Okay, title is bigger, so let's use this one. Now that's it. This is just a home page, the landing page. So we have on the right top page, 
we have pages so we can click and you see this three dots right here we can click we can duplicate it or we can add a sub page let's go ahead and add a sub page again where do i go first i was here on the insert tab and i'm going to click on pages then three dots then add sub page so let's add one and let's say about page again its header type is also title only but you, it's up to you if you want to add a picture or put a banner the size is up to you you can customize it as much as you want and on uh, the top right you see the about page that shows up so let's click home and then let's click about so we can navigate easily now what else is there let's add another page let's say project and then again it's also clean we are going to come back to these but initially we can see that we can navigate to about project and the home page now this is also a link that's going to take you to home page now let's go back to insert tab and we can choose a layout we can add image and we have a bunch of options if you made a video of your project then you click this youtube right here find your video let's say we have learning and let's click one of the videos now this you can click and drag line up in the way that you like so i put it in the center then again it's emphasis one i can change section background this is emphasis one so you can add youtube videos right here and as you can see there are other options you can choose from and at the very bottom there is charts but you don't see it we can also add a carousel about this page let's click carousel and this one it's going to say choose a picture on your drive if you have a picture you might need to download them and then let's click a couple of them let's see if it's accepting multiple there so let's insert these and as you can see this carousel can also be line up so i'm just gonna center it and this one has some pictures that are related to your project and i'm going to make it emphasis to again now you can see that there are one two three four so this is just my home page I can also add some extra stuff and let me show you inside the other pages so this is just let's keep it as simple as possible more details will go into your project and you can add additional projects relating to your project and they will be shown right in here and let's also do something else here i'm going to share share this website so you can check it out you can duplicate it you can use the pattern but you have to change your content 
and as you can see we can also embed some HTML code so if you click embed code and it's going to take a while to type it so I'm going to speed this part up later And now you can see that I added some HTML snippet and we can also align that and size it up, extend it as you can arrange it as you see fit. And you saw how I can pass a website link right here let me show you right here we can optionally add a style as a little as background color with this style tag Let's see if it works. We can resize it a little bit. And we can always change the color from light sea green to let's say powder blue let's click next and click save no, lighter the better now let's make this text a little bit wider and a little much uh, we don't need this white space here so we can size up and there we are and then like i told you i'm going to share this uh, website and you can go click three dots and duplicate this site. When you duplicate it, you can copy the HTML code and use it. So other than that, what else can we do? I haven't gone over the layouts, but layouts are cool. There are multiple selections. Let's just select one of them. 
and you can also play with them and say if you want to mow this down and mow that one up you can do as you can see you just drag and drop as simple as that and actually that's not the right place i want to put i'll put right here okay so since this is your project now start off giving the details of your steps so i'm just gonna randomly do stuff but you have to follow through your steps what you did why you did now let's just say this is day one problem So you have a problem and you are seeing through if you can find a solution to it. Say that mine is environmental solutions. So let's say hygiene inside school buildings. is much more important than ever before now that COVID-19 is spreading rapidly inside school buildings. Let's say we should act and do some heavy cleaning. Again, you have to justify your problem and your possible solutions. You have to choose those solutions as well. And then you can also add a picture of your day one getting with your problem. And let's add our question. How can we make sure classrooms are sanitized against COVID-19 virus? Can you be sure about this? So that is a question. And again, we can play with this. Say I want it to be a little bigger. So when I do, I want to extend this a little bit. So you can always play around with these things. So they, they align. Also, you can add hyperlinks and we can go to the left. You can see right here on the left. We can add image to the background. So let me just put the random one. and then again this didn't really look cool let's pick something lighter okay now this could be anything related to your project and now this text is not really seen let me make it bold so and so I might as well let me tell you what simple way you can do. Uh, I'm just going to convert this to an HTML block. So I'm just going to cut the text. 
and just delete it. Press delete on your keyboard. Or we can just click remove. Now I'm going to click embed. And then here it is just style. And it's going to be embed. And let's do style. And then we have to close the style with backslash style. And then inside here, we're going to modify what we put here. This is a paragraph. And I'm just going to paste it. And I'm going to close the paragraph like this. Backslash P. Now, since this is P tag inside the style, I can just say P tag. And there is opacity. Let's say 0.1. And let's just try if it works. And click next very opaque now we need to make it 0 0.2 let's see how it looks like a little bit better if i say 0.3 that's like 30 percent and if you keep increasing this number let's say 40 percent it's much more visible slowly and inside the body of this curly brace, I can also add more things. Let me add background color again. My paragraph, I want it to be, let's say, cyan. And then always remember, you have to end with semicolon, otherwise it might not like what you did. Okay, let's go next as you can see but this opaque will opacity will impact the color as well so let's reduce this to 20 percent and insert now this is the text we had just resizing it so it can fit right here again opacity gets us right here so let's double click and make opacity 50 percent now it's much more clear then you can increase this number if you want this is another way inside background and let's say we can add if you took a video about your problem you can impact add it here your youtube or from your drive or you can select an image but you also you can also just remove it and now that i have this we can align it at the say center and move it oh, oh okay now i just want to move this one right to the left and i'm just going to keep this right in here okay now Let's keep it like that. And as you can see, this one has a background. This one does not have. So I'm just going to cut this, trash it. And just like I did here, I'm going to do another embed. Embed. And again, 
this is our paragraph or let's do that as a header header one let's paste it close header one and let's add a style for header one let's say h1 curly brace and background color let's say yellow and a semicolon to end it and we're gonna add one more then close the curly brace opacity the other one was 5% so we can also make this 5% and then now we have to close the curly brace that's the one if you open something you have to close it now let's click next to see uh oh we don't see nothing so let's come back okay if we open something we have to close it we didn't close style so we have to go next line and backslash style my bad and now style is closed h1 is closed and h1 is closed here let's go next there we are now let's resize it I don't know why they make it so big. Oops. Okay. Now I can fit it inside here. Now again, opacity can be changed, but it's up to you how you wanna design it. But like I told you, you can duplicate the site to get the text so you can just change what it says over here so if you just want to put green let's click next and save there you are so if you want to make it blue just say blue next and there we are. This doesn't look good, so let's go back to let's say light C green. At least that's much closer. Okay. Again, this layout might not be the perfect one for this one. And plus, we don't actually need the layout. So I can take this one outside and take this right here and delete the layout. Wait a second. Okay. So I'm just going to put it on top of the project. And I put it on top of the project and now these are individual stuff now now let's go back and this one you can drag and drop and see what you can do as you can see I messed up now do you see this option readability adjustment so that's something you can take a look which is kind of cool at the bottom and I want to put a collapsible text in between these two things so I can definitely drag and drop collapse collapsible text if you want to mention about your heading say problems 
and then you will see the progresses I made so far about my project all right and then you can Im add images directly say this one I'm just gonna put it at the bottom and now I want to make this one as title bigger and bold this one is also bold but as a heading so some like bigger now uh, you can put this picture in the center off to the side however way you want to put so this is going to be something of your doing based on your day-to-day -day activity your pictures your progression like every day you did what you take a picture and then save it date it remember that you have to follow through your steps in the right order so again you can keep doing what you see we have been doing but you can see you can add a bunch of other options let's say i want to add a divider so right here this divider let's put it right here so this line that you see you can also delete the section if you want and what else can i show you you can also go to the themes there are some themes and you can click to see the text colors change so you can use or you can choose your own color and go from there and this makes it too not right maybe something lighter and you can also see some options uh, that is kind of the project page goes so you don't have to do like i did but i'm just showing you a way to build your page use everything in your power to adjust it don't adjust it like i did but adjust it the way you see fit all right now this is project and let's go to about page and here let's say impression but this theme does it apply to this page or let's look at the project page as you can see it is meant for the entire project so whenever you click the theme right here you should know that it's impacting the other places as well okay let's go to insert and you can add here a text and tell about yourself and anything that you want to share other than your private information don't ever put anything private just some things you feel like you can share and also mention why you chose to do this project or say in other words just a purpose other than that 
what are some things you can do? You can personalize this page because it's about you. And you can say, uh, also add one other page you have about and project. I'm just telling you the minimums, but you should have more than three pages, but not more than five, maybe. So let's add another page and I'll tell you why. Let's add a sub page and let's say this one is your references and click done. And as you can see, this is your references, your source information. So you can add them here inside a text box or embed them with an HTML code, however you want to do it. And now let's head over to our home page. As you can see, this is our home page. And then this is our project page. And then let me put the picture to the top. I want this scene first relating to the project. So you can also do that. One other thing I would like to show you inside this HTML block. Well, we mentioned background color and opacity, but we can also add, I remember it has to be inside these curly braces. One more thing. So let's make this text slightly bigger. And that's a style. So we can say font size equals 30 pixels. That's it. And that's impacting H1, by the way. And let's click next. And let's make it a little bit more bigger. Let's say 50 pixels. Let's click next. And say Anything over 100, not so, so let's make it 110 pixels and click save. As you can see, font size is not working because we didn't put colon here. Instead, we put equals. So let's just say click next. And there we are. And we can change this one. Now, as you can see, it's slightly fitting better. And you can change the opacity again. Let me change it to 70%. Much better. And same thing we did here. Say if this font size is 110 here, let's also make it half the size. Right after this, I'm just going to put this and say 55 pixels. Let's click next, click save. Let's see if we can fit 55 here. Nope. So let's make it 35 pixels. So close, let's make it 30 pixels. There we are. Now it fits much better compared to the other way. Now again, you can duplicate this. How? Just copy this text and then paste it when you embed a new code right here at the bottom. And 
pretty much you can do is add text box images add something from your drive like i said embed your html code add layouts and some other tools that you can use here based on what you need and that makes us some page hopefully you like what to do here and you can also customize the about page i didn't add anything and then we can see our pages so project related page maybe there should be more than one because you don't want to put everything inside this project page if you're putting day-to-day -day details inside this page you might as well put another page maybe let's rename this one I'll be rename let's go to properties and say day to day and you can always name this something else it doesn't have to be day to day weekly by weekly some and then we can add another page and look like this that's sub page project now this one will contain less information let's just drag it right here this will contain the bulky information but this one will get the overview highlights and your conclusion in a nutshell all right hopefully this gives you an idea and i'm gonna put the link of this page and you can go ahead and duplicate this one and then make your own and don't forget to customize it i don't want to see exact same page that you do <laughs> but everything will be just fine if you are replacing the text and project details because this is i just put randomly all right so you are gonna change it based on your project and we can also put this right here let's put it right here now it looks like it's going in the order that we made and let's also make this emphasis one so we are we can try to create a pattern emphasis two emphasis one two one Oh, it took away our background, so we don't want that. Okay. And optionally, you can see, you can keep the banner. If you like it the way it is. You can also change the image. But I don't think I have the banner type images. But if you use any one of these things, and feel free to ask questions. And until next time, thanks for watching.